Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for the second half of September. This is Mary and it's Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I've gotten so many in the last few weeks. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or a donation to the channel. Thank you so much for all your support and helping to grow and flourish this channel. I couldn't do it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. And it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you. Okay. Capricorn, second half of September already. Can you believe that? I hope everybody's doing well. So this can be any kind of connection, nothing specific, any kind of love connection you may have with somebody and whoever you have in mind at this time. So we'll see what we get. If you clicked on the title, obviously it drew you here. So there is probably a message for you in here somewhere. So take what resonates and throw away the rest, including the signs I mentioned. All right, so let's see what we have for Capricorn in this love connection for the second half of September. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so let's see what we get. And if you don't resonate with this, that is totally fine, but I think I'm going to take that one right there. So I got Gemini. So some of you could be dealing with a Gemini air sign. If not, that's totally fine. Or maybe they have it in their chart somewhere. That could be possible also. It could be their moon sign. Okay. So with this deck here, first thing I'll do is get an overall love connection energy for the two of you. And then I'll get one card for you, one card for them, how you are feeling and how they are feeling, how you are feeling about each other and this connection, bottom of the deck, and then we'll clarify with the arrow. So let's get, all right, so I'm not going to take that because I didn't ask. So let's get one card for this love connection. What is this love connection energy like for Capricorn? Second half of September spirit, please. Thank you so much. We have one, that's too many. One card for Capricorn spirit, please. And this love connection. What? Thank you. Well, abundance. So we have abundance. So something here, it either will be abundant or it is abundant right now, or it has the potential to be very, very abundant, whatever this connection is. All right, so, well, that wanted to fly. So I'm feeling one for you, one for your person. Let's see how you are feeling about your person and this connection, if you believe. So you really have faith in this connection. You really believe in them. You believe in this connection. You believe in how you feel, in the feelings. You believe they have feelings towards you also. And they have ask your angels. So they may be a little confused trying to figure it out, trying to figure, trying to listen to their gut and their intuition about this connection. You know, maybe they're not sure. I don't know. We'll see here. It's like they're asking for a guidance from, maybe asking for guidance from above. Show me signs, symbols, um, and that sort of energy. But Spirit here is trying to tell you that this connection between the two of you can be very, very abundant. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck within the next few weeks. Okay. And success. Nice. So success and within the next few weeks. So very abundant energy. So something is going to happen, has the potential and energy for something here to be successful within the next few weeks. But you have to keep in mind, a lot of people watch these readings and say, well, nothing happened. That energy is very fluid. Fluid. It can shift and change um, every second, every minute of every day. The intention and energy can be here now for something that I'm reading, but the energy can shift and change, and tomorrow everything could change. So people have to realize that. And also with uh, the universe, there is no clock in the universal time. So within the next few weeks, in universal time could be in the next few months, you know. There is no time in the divine source. So 
All right. So let's clarify here for you, Capricorn. Second half of September. If you believe, what do you believe in? Oh, that's way too many in this connection. Okay, I don't know if I want to take these. I don't feel comfortable with that. I was asking for you. I got two. I want one. There we go. So we have fire energy here, but it doesn't have to be. Leo Sagittarius. So the three of wands here is, you know, you're wanting to set out in this new love connection, this new journey with this person. But uh, it's like you're waiting, like you're seeing how abundant and successful this could be. But it's a period of waiting here, maybe for the right time. It's like you believe in it, you see it out in the distance, and you're just waiting for the either for them or you're waiting or there's a waiting here for the right time. But you totally, totally believe you're very fiery, passionate about it. But for right now, it's just a period of waiting, waiting for the right time. And the right time may be in the next few weeks here. So let's see, why does your person have. Ask your angels here, please, for Capricorn. Why does their person have it's too many? Ask your angels. Just one card for them, please. Thank you so much. One card. And they don't want to give me anything. We have one card, please. Or I'm just going to take one. All right, I'll take the top. The Nine of Wands. So, again, here, they might have been through a tough cycle here they might have been through some challenging times either in relationships or in their life right now but they do have endurance here and willpower to keep fighting keep moving on so that could be why you know they feel like uh beat up you know this is the card of being you know beat up <laughs> the wounded warrior but you have the energy to keep fighting on and keep going so what I'm getting is if they've been through a lot of tough relationships, um, maybe a lot of toxic relationships here, they're really confused and they're struggling about this new connection. Do they want to pursue this? So they're asking their angels, they're um, praying, meditating, really thinking, reflecting, you know, do I really want to get involved with, again, they have fire also, which is very fiery, passionate energy. So, you know, I think they're thinking about it. You know, uh, it's like I've been through a tough struggle. I've been through so many bad relationships. Do I really want to pursue this? So I'm really thinking, contemplating, praying, asking for signs, asking for answers. And you're waiting for them. Because if you hold them kind of like this way, it's almost like you're face to face. So they're looking at you. You're, lo they're looking at you at, you're looking at them. They're looking at you. And they're a little on guard here because they've been through some tough cycles here. And you know that, so you're just kind of hanging back and waiting for them. All right. So let's get, actually, let's get a couple of clarifiers. One, there we go. One for you, one for your person. So we have the Queen of Cups. So, um, you know, they could be a water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. If not, this is just show, showing that you definitely do have a lot of love and emotions towards this person. Queen of Cups, Cups all about love and emotions. So you do have feelings for this person. The moon. So yeah, and this is uh, Cancer Pisces again, and over here is Cancer Pisces. So they could be a water sign. I mean, we have fire here so far. We have Gemini. We have Cancer Pisces or Scorpio, so they could be anybody. But uh, the moon here speaks of, so I feel like they're, you know, a little disillusioned. They're a little confused. They're not seeing things clearly. They're trying to find their way, find their light in their path. The moon you can't see clearly. You're trying to find your way, trying to find the answers. And the moon also does speak of deep feelings and uh, intuition and trying to connect and listen to source, your intuition, that sort of thing. So I feel like they're really trying to connect with their gut, their intuition, the divine source. They do have deep feelings, this passion here. So we have fire, both sides, passion here. And deep feelings on both sides. 
you know how you feel. They're, they're a little confused and trying to find their way. And that's why they have, you know, talking to their angels and trying to, you know, listen to their intuition, trying to figure out the right thing to do here. So let's get the actual situation. We have the Emperor, so that's Aries. So, and the Emperor is connected to you. Emperor is connected to you. So you're wanting to take control, take charge of the situation, but yet you know you have to hang back. Six of Cups, so soulmate energy here. Uh, this could be somebody that you knew from the past, uh, your childhood, someone you worked with a long time ago, went to school with. It can also speak of maybe you have children with this person or maybe individually you have children and there'll be a coming together merging of children. Um, can also speak of past life uh, relationships with this person. Many different things here, but definitely uh, soulmate, relate, you know, coming together and reuniting. Six of Cups is about reuniting, especially if it's somebody from the past. Six of Cups is all about those old relationships from the past, childhood, memories, nostalgia. Cups, love and emotions again. All right, and that's the water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces again. So getting a lot of water here and fire. All right, so one more. So now we have the Page of Pentacles, and that's connected to them. It did come this way, which speaks of that could be a challenge for them, is either accepting your offer or extending out an offer. And the Pentacle, you know, that's your energy, Earth energy here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So this is uh, communication or, or a message coming in. And it's very practical. It's very, you know, it could be just a little offer for now, but it's very stable, sturdy, secure. It's wanting to grow for the long term. So I'm going to put it this way because it's a challenge. So for them, it's a challenge to offer out that stable offer, secure offer, long term. And for them to also accept your long term stable offer. So that's definitely a challenge. But the energy is here with this offer, whether you are extending it or that they're thinking about accepting it or extending either way here, definitely, definitely a challenge for them, especially with the moon, moon energy there. So let's get a couple clarifiers for the situation here for you Capricorn, a couple clarifiers for your situation. Capricorn love, second half of September. Oh, here we go. Again, wow, six, six, and the magician. So, yep, six of pentacles here talks about, that's your earth energy again. So you definitely want uh, equal give and take in this relationship. You want equal reciprocity, balance in this relationship. You want a sh you definitely want a sure, stable, secure, grounded, long-term, balanced relationship with this person for the future. And the magician. So, you know, this is all about manifesting a brand new beginning. One is all about brand new beginning. And this can be Gemini Virgo. So there's the Gemini. So manifesting a brand new beginning. Using all the tools. Um, cups for love and emotions. Pentacles for stability, security. Wands for passion. And um, go-getter energy. And the swords for clarity and truth. Communication. But it's right under the moon for them. So they're still trying to figure things out about manifesting, like I said, this brand new beginning with you. Okay. So let's see what your advice is now in this situation. Capricorn, if you feel like these energies could be vice versa, then you're more than welcome to switch out the energies here, however you see fit. All right, so let's get some advice for you, Capricorn. A couple cards of advice for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. One. Okay, two. So we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Wow. So your advice is just to wait. You know, wait, and because there's a lot of mental blockages right now, and I feel like definitely on their side here, they have a lot of mental blockage 
Here's the air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, your energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So seven of pentacles is, you know, there's been a lot of um, seeds planted in this relationship. So it's just a matter of time and patience and waiting for everything to flourish because waiting because there is still mental blockages, I feel, on their part. I mean, it could be on your part too because you have no clue what's going to happen in the situation. But your advice is... I think you need to wait it out a little bit longer so they can overcome these mental blockages. Because with the Eight of Swords, they can easily get out of this mental blockage at any time they wish because they're not really tied up and bound by all this mental blockage. It's just their own fears, um, fears, anxieties. So let's see. Yep, yeah, because, <laughs> wow, the Two of Cups, water energy again. And then we have the full energy here, which I believe is an Aquarius. So two of cups. So this, again, soulmate union here, two people coming together as one. So you know, it's right on your side. So you know that this is a soulmate union because the six of cups is right in the middle. So you kind of both know you guys are probably soulmates, but they're still overcoming fears and blockages on their side. And whether or not to manifest they're still confused and trying to figure it out with the moon energy, whether or not to manifest and take this leap of faith with you, with the full energy. You know, leaving all the past baggage behind, resetting at zero, only taking with you the lessons you need, jumping in, taking that leap, manifesting that, but they're still a little confused here with the moon energy. So because of that, I think you just need to hang back and wait for them to overcome uh, this mental blockage here because soulmate union is here again too with the two of cups. So, all right. So let's get a possible, oops, outcome for you Capricorn. Well, there you go. Six of wands, fire and a lot of fire here. So fire and water are heavy. So you could have, or they could have both one of you could have heavy fire, heavy water, or both in your chart. But the Six of Wands here is um, victory and success. And here's the offer here. So there will be an offer extended out, whether it's you or, you or them. And it will be successful and victorious here. So there's the energy there of the offer and having success and victory. So the energy is there for that. So let's get more clarifiers here. So the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Cups. So... I think divine energy here with the sword. Here's the Gemini, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And every time I get the Queen of Swords, the message I always get is this is the divine energy source. Shedding light and clarity and lifting up this sword of truth onto the situation. So I think they will, divine source will make this person see Nine of Cups, water energy is about wishes and dreams coming true, happiness and joy. So I think Divine Source here will probably shed, will shed light onto this person to show them that there can be so much happiness, joy in this relationship, in this connection. It'll be a wish and a dream come true here. Or they could, this could be them just getting mental clarity or the both of you. The Queen of Swords is about mental clarity, truth, you know, open, honest communication cutting away things no longer serving the connection, standing up for it, standing up for yourselves, not taking any BS, and knowing this is a wish and a dream come true, happiness and joy. So I think clarity will be shed on the two of you. I think you already know that, but definitely with them. And there will be offer here, happiness, joy, success, offer here. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The Ten of Cups, wow. So we have the Nine of Ten of Cups, so wow. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, love, and emotions fulfilled between the two of you. Happy home and family in every single way. The whole Ten of Cups. Everything just overflowing with love and emotions and a connection here. Four of Cups, yeah, there's still um, confusion and stagnancy here between the connection not sure what to do, accept the offer, give the offer. The offer is right here. Because if you put together 
oh no, that's the four. If you put together this nine and that cup right there, then you have the ten of cups. So somebody will extend out that cup, whether it's you or them, to get to this ten of cups. Five of wands, again, I feel fire again, mental conflict on their side. And here's the lovers, here's the Gemini. Two people coming together again in soulmate union. This is the major, major of the two of cups is the lovers. It's two people coming together in a divine soulmate union. Wow. But there is stress, anxiety with the nine of swords in this situation. But definitely soulmate energy, but mental conflict, I feel, on their side. Not sure what to do here. But the energy is here to have the whole Ten of Cups with this person. Wow. So you may have to be the one just to, um, I know, well, your advice is to wait, wait for them to get mental clarity. But I think when you know it's the right time, because you have the Three of Wands here, waiting for the right time, you will extend out this offer to them, and I feel they will accept it. Or they will at least consider it. All right, because there is a lot of abundance to be had in, because you have success here, and the Six of Wands is all about success and victory. So you have double confirmation of that. And you also have within the next few months under there. So I mean, something in the next few weeks could lead to something, lead to something even better in the next few months. All right. So, let's get some advice, extra advice and guidance for you. Capricorn in this connection. What do we have for Capricorn in this connection spirit, please? Wow. Okay. Well, I guess these are your messages. Well, there's three here. Wow. Okay. Let's see what we have. So, we have love is all around you. There is love everywhere, all the time. Simply acknowledge this as truth. Seven, 16, seven, divinely guided spiritual energy. So the love is here. Love is all around. But I think they just have to simply acknowledge it. They're confused right now with the moon energy. And then we have back to what you love. Your current situation is giving you an opportunity to reevaluate what you want. And we have three, which is about, you know, socializing, teamwork, collaboration. So they could be coming back to you if this is somebody you knew from your childhood or you had a relationship with a long time ago and now you're reconnecting and they're unsure about that. This is saying back to what you love. So I feel like this person probably has loved you all along, but right now they have confusion for some reason. But the energy is here to going back to what you love. And then we have, I love you. These are very important words. And two... Again, soulmate union, two people coming together as one, and there definitely is love. You love them. I think they love you. They're just confused right now for some reason. All right, bottom of the deck, focus on love. Look for good attributes in each and every person in your life. And then we have six, again, with the healing, balancing uh, number. Six, focus on love. So I feel... I feel like, you know, focus on love. There will be focus on each other. There will be a lot of love. Love is all around. They, I think they will see the light. They will see the truth. And eventually they will come around. And then when, once you know that, and they could be sending out a small message here eventually, and then you will proceed with some sort of offer to them. And I think it'll be very successful and abundant. Okay, Capricorn, it looks good. So uh, please do like, share, subscribe, comment. I love to read the comments if you like how I read. And um, hit the bell to be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love, so don't miss out on them. Be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. And best of luck to you in your love connection here. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.